family. Hey, what's up with it? Today is the 17th, no, the 16th, hold on, hold on, ain't that a bit? How I not know this? I know it's the day after Easter, but what's the number? Hold on one second. I know that it's the day after Easter, but what the shit is the number? Okay, it is, so it is the 17th, okay. <laughs> My bad. Today is uh, April the 17th, 2017, uh, and I have come on to just talk about and recap the weekend and different things that are going on. Um, the Housewives reunion last night, um, and this uh, killer on the loose. Check that out. Facebook murder. Craziness, right? So we're going to just cover a whole bunch of things, and right now it is 10.50. In the a.m., I have some incense going. I have no other than patchouli going today. I have saddlewood going over here in my diffuser. I know it's mixing two different things, but that's just what I'm feeling. And what else I got going? I done put me one up a little bit earlier before I got in the shower. I'm just getting out the shower. This is my outfit of the day. This is what I chose to put on. I have uh, a top that I had got from Forever 21. Uh, and I think I got this, it was on a little clearance. Remember y'all, I had went down and I spent like $40, got two bags of shit, right? And so this little top right here, and I was just digging it, and it was like $3. So I was like, you know what, I can fuck with. You know what I'm saying? If you don't get your ass in this bag, yeah. So, um, so I ended up getting this, and, um, so I, and I just paired it with a, 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 a blue skirt. You see, you guys can see me better. Can you see me better? Can you see, can you see the whole skirt and get down and the top? Can you see? So this is my outfit of the day. This is what I chose to put on. So, um, I am, um, I'm going to Lowe's in a few. I gotta go get me a soil tester. Um, y'all, let me tell you something. I was on the fence. I was on the cliff a little bit ago. I mean, like a few days back, I was really, really worried and I didn't really want to call it into existence or nothing like that. I was just got on it and was doing what I need to, but I almost thought that I had lost a couple of my, uh, a couple of my trees, you know, and I was like, wait a minute, hold on, what the fuck? Because, you know, I, I had, the, uh, the leaves had begun to turn and I know it wasn't time, it's not time for harvest. And see, my, my growth was stunted, um, earlier because see, I had got, I had started this right here in January, okay? So my babies were born around the 1st of January. So that lets you know where I'm at now, okay? And so uh, it usually takes four to six months. That is the, the length of time, regardless to whether or not it's indica or sativa, whichever one you're going or a hybrid, it's still going to take four to six months for full maturity, you know, from start to finish, and then to you go into harvest, and harvest can take you up to three weeks if you do it, if you cure your stuff correctly. Because, you know, you got to pull it up out of the, uh, completely up out of the soil, hang it upside down, but, but, um, first take off your shake, your clippings, hang them upside down, so then therefore, when it is infusing into your nuggets, into the, the flowers, as they call them, the buds, when it go up in there from the roots all through the stems, everything is going up into the buds. And so then therefore, that's why you are hanging them upside down in a dark uh, space um, with good ventilation upside down for a few days, okay? Preferably at least about a week, you know, like that. And then therefore, as you're drying them out, and man, it just, the longer you, the longer you cure them, the sweeter it's going to be. It's not going to be that real harsh. You know how, like, sometimes you'll, you'll, um, you'll, uh, have some uh, your medicinals and it's a real hard burn or it's real bitter or um or it don't burn right it keep going out that mean it wasn't cured right that mean that they didn't cure it right and see so then therefore it could be still wet too and see inside of those nuggets there's still a lot of moisture because see, you've been hanging them upside down see so all that has to completely dry out and so and i like to put mine in a burlap bag when i hang them upside down then therefore, and I'll roll like three or four plants in the one, bur one uh, I think I got like a foot and a half, I mean a yard and a half or two yards of burlap, and I just roll them in there, you know, of course not t t touching together, but like I'll put a tree in there, roll it, put another tree in there, roll it, put another tree in there, roll it, put another tree in there, roll it, the words, I at least got about four 
three or four uh, trees in, in there, and then I'll hang it upside down. Okay, but if I keep it in the burlap, then therefore, if there's any flowers that fall or whatever, then therefore, that's just in my little gumbo um, jar, you know what I'm saying, of different kind that just, you know, nigga, you know, don't know what you're going to get, you know what I'm saying, one of them, so, and that's like a house, like this, some people call it house shake, house kush, house popcorn, whatever, Whatever you want to call it, then therefore all of that that fell in that burlap is all in that jar. And then I'll label it as such and just, you know, gumbo or whatever I want to call it. Probably gumbo this time. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, I was worried. I'm still a little bit worried about my yield um, this time around because for the simple fact it hasn't been hot enough. Um, shout out to California. We are out of the drought in Southern California. Hey, baby, we out the motherfucking drought. We was in a drought, Okay. So, and it was that motherfuckers couldn't walk, wash their cars, have run out going down the driveway, none of that old type of shit. They wanted us to do our washing and all this shit at night. You know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers couldn't, motherfuckers couldn't even just cut the, cut the water on on the line and just let it go. Now, all that shit was cut out, okay? But now that we've had so much rain, and it also fucked up my crops too because, you know, I take them in and out. And the rain water was fucking them up. It wasn't hot enough. You know, you want it to, the, the, the first day after frost is when usually when you want to begin, you know, you're growing. If you're growing, if you're growing outside or whatever, you want the day after frost. So usually around springtime. But see, I started mine, you know, this time in January. And so then therefore, you know, it stunts the growth when it's not hot enough. So motherfuckers can be, oh, yeah, I got some up under the sink in the bathroom. Nigga, you fucking your shit up. It needs to be outside. It needs to be, it needs sunlight. It needs a, a, at least 70 degrees, okay, every day, okay? Um, now, even for um, indoor growers that's doing high, high, hydro and all that kind of stuff, and, you know, you're doing it like that, then therefore they still got they they're controlling the temperature, the lighting, you know, all that kind of stuff. The humidity, it's, it's a whole bunch going to it. It, it. Motherfuckers is truly about this life. Now I don't I don't know about how it is in different states, but here in the state of California, this is just medicinals. This is this is this is this is what I do for me to keep me. I'm a, nigga. I plan on living a long motherfucking prosperous ass life. When I go from here, that means that is from the hands of somebody else, okay? Because I'm, 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 I'm mentally stable enough to where it's ain't nothing in me going to take my own life. So if a mother come and say, well, she committed suicide, they lying on me, okay? Because that, that's what I'm not going to do. But as far as a motherfucker, you know, because you see him right now, motherfuckers is killing their girlfriends, wives, motherfuckers is tripping all the way out here. In uh, Cleveland or wherever the fuck this motherfucker at. And he just shoot motherfuckers and did this shit over the weekend and shot somebody daddy. I mean, I'm like, oh my God. Motherfuckers is tripping nowadays. And it's like, what the shit is going on? You know, I mean, this is this has been happening at a rapid rate since, uh, I want to say, December or something. I mean, it's always been going on. Because I know motherfuckers, oh, well, my cousin, this and this and this. And this happened, this been going on. I understand that. But what I'm saying is it's been so rampant. Okay, and uh, it's been so rampant since December or something because it was a it was a young lady here that was on YouTube, but she lived here out here. I think she lived in Orange County or whatever. Oh boy, beat her ass up with a uh with a with a hammer and killed her. Yeah, killed her motherfucking ass with a hammer. They couldn't find her for days and days. Then they finally found her, and you know it was closed cast and all. They could they couldn't do nothing. He had fucked her up, and he had met her. I guess on YouTube or whatever the case, you know, and, you know, um, she was, I guess, known in the makeup community and all that kind of stuff, you know, beautiful, beautiful young lady, and this motherfucker just lost it, she didn't want to be with him no more, and that motherfucker snapped, so, you know, and then it was another young lady, her and her dude, he killed her and the motherfucking dog, ain't that a bitch? And he took her ass up north some motherfucking way and bumped her off. It was crazy. So, it's been a lot of shit that has been going on all over the news, just all over the place. Motherfuckers is just snapping and tripping the fuck out. Mental health is real. I really want you guys to understand that. You cannot play with these motherfuckers. Okay? And when it get too motherfucking hot, nigga, it's called exit stage right. Do all you can and get the fuck out the way. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck you need to do. Try all you can, keep a motherfucker in prayer, and get the fuck up out the way. Because the thing is, you don't know what their triggers are. You don't know what these motherfuckers' triggers are. Oh, girl, up here, you know, at North Park, and today North Park opens back up. Today, everybody is supposed to be wearing red. Um, my kids are doing red today. You see what I got on, you know what I'm saying? Um, in solidarity, um, you know, for alumni is, is wearing red today, but look what I got on. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but yeah, so today is the first day the school is opening back up and now, it's com you know, completely locked up. You know, now you got to go through the intercom system, in, you know, surveillance at the door. You can't get in. You know, and I remember going up in there for the longest time. You know, my kids graduated K through 12 through there. You know, going through the office, it was nothing. You know, it's not like that no more. It's a change of times. Motherfuckers is really losing their minds right now. I mean, motherfuckers is really, really, really losing their motherfucking minds right now. The police don't know what to do with them. That's why they're killing them. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're killing these motherfuckers. Because the police don't really know how to deal with mental health, you know. And a lot of times, these motherfuckers ain't really following the commands because they in their head on whatever it is that got them tripping out, you know. So what the police is doing, you know, police is knocking these motherfuckers off and it's fucked up, you know. It's just, it's just, it's just a crazy time. But nah, girls... Um, also, you meet these men or whatever, you better confide in some motherfucking body as to where the fuck you be at this nigga's license plate number, this motherfucker's driver's license number, this motherfucker's address, and every goddamn thing else. You better be confided in some motherfucking body or have you something at the house to where you done wrote all this motherfucking shit down. This is where I be, this, 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 in case something happened to your motherfucking ass. You know, and then motherfuckers know where to go. You know, motherfuckers got something to work with. I mean, this is real serious. It's not the fact that I'm worried about my life. It's just the fact that this is real life right now. This shit is going on at a rapid motherfucking rate. All these young ladies in D.C. area came up missing. You know, us niggas taking pussy nowadays. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but this motherfucker's literally taking pussy nowadays. And, I mean, it's a motherfucker on the USC campus. This motherfucker just out there just taking pussy. It's like, damn, what the fuck is going on? Motherfuckers is really, 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 really tripping right now. I don't know what it is, you know. I do know that we're coming out of uh, Mercury Retrograde right now. Oh boy tripping and what, uh, wherever he the fuck at, uh, Cleveland or whatever. You know, and I'm like, wow, you know. I don't know, as I was telling y'all last week about the Mercury Retrograde, this motherfucking shit. Hold on. Okay, so, so yeah, uh, anyway, so, y'all, that's just going on, it's just so sad, and it's a damper on my spirit, on my soul, because I know a lot of women are going through a whole bunch of shit right now, in their personal lives that they just don't talk about, they don't share, you know, out of, um, shame, um, out of being ridiculed, out of fear, um, so many different things, just overwhelmed, you know what I mean, and so that's why I don't have a problem with putting some of my things out there. To let you guys know, it's okay to talk. You've got to talk to somebody because it don't go away. And whenever you're able to release your feelings, you have to own your feelings and release them. You know what I'm saying? You have to, t because otherwise this shit just mounting up and piling up and piling up and piling up and you're going to be fucked up. Losing your hair, stress the fuck out, gaining weight, losing weight, whatever. However way you take it on. Whether you, you now... Um, smoking a lot, drinking a lot, um, or whatever, whatever you're, or, you know, eating a lot. There's so many different things now that, uh, you know, motherfuckers is, uh, is into now. And a lot of people got a really, really dark side. It's, it's motherfuckers truly battling things that you don't have, you don't have no clue about. That's what's so crazy. And it's like, man, you know, like when I'm talking to baby and I know he, he be looking at me like, where the fuck you been? Because I'm just so forthright and honest. You know, because I just feel like this right here. I don't have no reason to lie to anybody. Lie for what? What does that, that do to be lying to motherfuckers? I mean, what does that do? At a certain age, for me, the way I look at it, the way I look at my life right here, 
I have to own who I am. I've made mistakes in my life, okay? I've made some mistakes. I've done some stupid ass shit. I've done some dumb shit. I've done some shit I regret. You know, I find myself in arenas that I should have never been in. You know, I knew that it wasn't for me, but it felt good at the time, and I was just rolling with it. All kinds of shit, you know? And it's like, uh, can't nobody make me... Now, now, I'm, now I'm starting to, you know, internalize all these feelings for the past couple of weeks. No, I'll take that back. February? Since, like, February, I've been going through these things, you know, learning more about me, different aspects about my personality... Um, different things about me that I've been really fine-tuning and, you know, stuff like that. I'm very, very intuitive. That's one gift that God did, did give me. I'm very, very intuitive. My third eye is sharp. Um, I'm just, I'm one of them. I'm clairvoyant. Um, I don't know. It's just a lot, you know. And this is just what I give y'all. You know what I'm saying? I come on this motherfucker like a chameleon, from, go from one extreme to the next. It's not the fact that I'm thrown off, could be, you know what I mean? But this is just the way that God's made me. This is just this is just me. I don't have to be high to go from zero to 100. I don't have to, um, well, I don't drink, or, or and especially like cocaine and ecstasy and opiates and all that. I'm not into all that kind of stuff. I don't need that shit. Give me some natural shit so then therefore I know what the fuck's in it. If I do it myself, I know what the fuck I'm putting in it. God damn it. And it's called phosphorus, uh, uh, potassium, nitrogen, and motherfucking uh, molasses. Okay? And black gold. That's what the fuck I'm giving them out there. I'm just being honest about that right there. Then therefore, you know, because, they, and then two ladies, you got to also know who the fuck rolling the weed. You got to know, you can jump into a rotation if you want to and don't know who rolled the motherfucking weed. You're going to find your ass in the corner some motherfucking well get served on some real shit. Because it ain't regular motherfucking weed no more. It's shit you can do to motherfucking weed to put weed on 11. Okay? Because this motherfucker's out here like, wow, wait a minute, hold on. And see, just like, okay, like I was telling y'all the other day. The opposite of THC is going to be CBD. CBD is also where I'm also going. Um, I'm going to um, make my own oil. So that's why I said that I have to um, get me a CBD plant going. Because and therefore I have to donate a whole ounce of my own stash to make this oil. And the oil ain't going to be about this motherfucking big. Mind you. Okay. An ounce is going to give you about this much motherfucking oil. Okay. That much. Probably. It just depends, okay? But uh, even still, I get to do all kinds of things with it. And, it, and one thing about CBD oil, to, to keep its integrity, you do not burn it. You don't set a flame to CBD uh, medicinals. So then, therefore, you have to find other ways to infuse it into your body. Um, so then, therefore, you don't light it or make blunts and all that. You don't do all that shit or zigzag or have way you roll with yours. I'm a hippie. Okay, so I do mine all kind of motherfucking ways. I got, I got a, I got a bungology book that will tell me on how to make all kind out of motherfucking jars and goddamn pineapples and apples. You know what I mean? And you making little bongs and different things out of different things. So that's one thing too. And also, I have my um, you know, I have a badass hookah, a big one. Okay, my hookah sits about this high, about three or four feet. This is just the wand of it. So you know, it's different ways that. You get down. You just don't just be on some old, you got some zigzags, nigga, slow burning. You know what I mean? Nah. You know, that's, I mean, you know, I'm a hippie, so, you know, I mean, I like it that way too. But then, therefore, when it comes down to, because I'm not just, you know, on some old, just, you know, I'm how high, let me high, high, nigga, I'm trying to get high. Nah, nah, it ain't nothing like that, okay? It's deeper than that, okay? And matter of fact, on some real shit, you better, if you want to really get cold blooded about it, you better check on Noah. How Noah was blowing on the ark, okay? So then, therefore, this go way the fuck back. This ain't no new shit. This ain't no... Because motherfuckers want to be like, oh, well, you know, uh, that that ain't no this and that, and that's this and this and this and this and this. Well, nigga, uh, don't talk about me, goddammit, because you do your shit different than me. 
Nigga, ain't nobody said nothing about them motherfucking Vicodins. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody said nothing about them Tylenol 3s or whatever, Percocets or whatever the motherfucking... Because motherfuckers be on some of that shit, too. Motherfuckers be on some wine shit. Motherfuckers be on some Hennessy and some Ciroc shit and motherfucking Cavassier shit, nigga. Motherfuckers be on their own shit or on their food. Cheeseburgers and fries. You know what I'm saying? Or Newports. Whatever your get down is or whatever your coping mechanism is, you know, to keep you from going crazy, <laughs> then therefore that's what motherfuckers do. That's just that's just who we are. Or a lot of people pacify with sex. You know what I'm saying? They don't fuck with weed. They don't fuck with this. They don't fuck with that. But their promiscuity is on a whole different motherfucking level. They buying pussy. Buying it, taking it. You know what I'm saying? They got all kind. They got a whole trunk of shit. You know what I mean? They, the motherfuckers is doing the mostest. Okay, but that's their kryptonite. That's how they roll. That's what they do. Motherfuckers is watching porn at work and up under the table just getting them one. You know what I'm saying? So it's motherfuckers that got all kind of shit that's, you know, tripping them out. But yet and still, you know, people want to talk about people that, you know, hippies like me. You know what I mean? <laughs> My shit's legal. I ain't out here doing a motherfucking thing that's out the way. Nigga, now. I ain't trying to, no, 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 no. The only way I'm going to get me in a motherfucking jumpsuit is if a motherfucker violate my personal space. You violate my personal space, then I'm going to have to do something to you. That's just it. You know what I mean? I'm just going to do something to you. Because um, first of all, I'm going to go before the judge and let him know I was fearing for my life. Because I don't fuck with nobody. I don't put my hands on nobody. I don't steal from nobody. I don't take from nobody. I don't fuck with nobody. Husband, man, friend, whatever. I don't do none of that kind of old shit. 